March 2020 was a very trying time for all of us as a whole. Businesses, churches, families, we all were affected some way, somehow, by the pandemic. This episode on Truth Talks TV, we'll be discussing the pandemic, how it affected us, how it affected our families, what we learned from it, and where do we go from here. Join us as we discuss the pandemic. Hello, 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 everybody. (laughs) Welcome to Truth Talks TV. Thank you for joining us. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, we'll be talking about today. So, we're talking about the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Now, no one can say that they weren't affected by the pandemic. I think that everybody had some sort of effect, whether it was their job, the loss of a loved one, the loss of a family member, churches. Like, we were all some way, somehow affected by the pandemic. Yeah, I, I you know, I agree. Um, for one, to me, when I first heard it, I'm thinking this must be a joke. Yes. You know, how, like, so, and it just put us all in a state of shock. Like, okay, so it's something we don't know if we can get it from touching, yes. breathing. Yes. And so it's like, okay, can I, do I my safety to be around my family? Do right. I, you know, like right. what? Right. And so just this whole scare to me initially was a shocker. Yes. I remember praying and crying out to God, like, Lord, I don't want to die yet. But I don't know how to not get sick because yes. we didn't know much about it right. initially. Right. And so for me, my faith level was affected initially. You know, you know and I, I agree with you. You know, we're, we're women of God, but I, I strongly believe that a lot of people who were very strong in the faith, mm. their faith was really attacked because we have the news day after day telling who died? How many people, yeah. you know, were were a, a casualty of this horrible virus? I remember going on social media and every like every day, all day, you would see rest in peace, and it was due to yeah. COVID. And it's like, God, what is happening? I know that I walked in fear. I followed all the mandates, all the instructions, the mask aspect, but I was still scared. Yeah, I was scared to leave my house. Yeah. I remember also when my job. At first, telework wasn't a thing, you know. Mm, yeah. Um, they were like, yeah. no, the telework before, <laughs> you know, before the pandemic hit, there was no telework. It was mm-hmm. bring you behind in the building. <laughs> bring but it on it in. Was, um, it was March 2020. <laughs> yeah. Where the mm-hmm. governor um, in Maryland declared a state of emergency. And they were sending out emails like, hey, we need you to come get your laptop. We're going to be working from home. And I was like, this is really real. Yeah. This is real, and I was scared. And it feels like a movie because yes. things are happening so fast. Now, when the government says state of emergency, it's like, okay, now my level of security, I just feel like, okay, well, wait, the things that I place my hope in, my faith yes. in, can't protect me. Yes. So there's only one way to look, which yes. is up. Yes. And yes. I mean, I really was questioning God, like, why now, Lord? I thought we had so much going on that exactly. we was going to happen. Yes. And then, you know, just seeing videos of people dying left and right. Yes. And I saw these some videos, somebody in the streets just fell out. And I'm yes. like, what is this? Yes. So you're telling me yes. I can just breathe it and die? Because we didn't understand. Yes. We didn't understand. We didn't know what to do to be saved events were canceled like i know that we had a major production it was supposed to be april 4th we were celebrating our five-year anniversary as being a production company every area of life was affected and no one really knew what to do and even the church now i can say that Mm. i was a part of a ministry where the, the leadership didn't believe in social media Facebook lives, uh-huh. none of that. Yeah. But as soon as that pandemic yeah, hit, boy. as soon as stuff got <laughs> shut down and it was like, you can't gather 10 or more, mm-hmm. we was on that church line. You know, I saw some people <laughs> having virtual services, creating Facebook pages yeah. that they said was the devil. Mm-hmm. So hmm. technology, a lot of people hmm. relied on technology. Like technology was definitely a blessing because if not, we wouldn't have been able to gather. Like, right. people would have been in a pandemic probably losing their mind, yeah. committing suicide, because there was no Unfortunately, gospel. Yeah. 
you know, mm. like that really helped to spread the gospel technology. It did. I really, you know, and I think it what it did is it challenged not only our faith, but it challenged some of those false ideologies that we had. Mm. Yes. Because to say, even go as far to say that technology is the devil, we cannot say that technology, uh, chicken patty or whatever is a devil. It's how you use it. Even yes. the Bible doesn't say yes. money is a devil. It's yes. just the it's love the of. of. See? So, so we're going to have to address this. Yes, we these scriptures have to, that we take we out of context. Come because on. technology was truly a blessing. And Absolutely. some churches were prepared and some weren't. Um, I was going to Rhema International Ministries. And before the pandemic hit, I want to say two years before, the leadership bought state-of-the-art equipment they bought nice mics nice yeah. live stream and we were streaming and this was way before the pandemic and then when the pandemic hit um we had the ability to have service in a very quality way yeah. whereas some churches who didn't believe in technology had their phones and they had a tripod look you know listen and i'm saying whatever works hey. whatever works i don't <laughs> knock it i don't knock it but i'm i can truly say that i'm very grateful for technology yeah because other than that we went to be able to assemble and we assembled virtually and it was Absolutely. still effective. It was still yeah. impactful. The, the word still got out there. Absolutely. And I kind of feel like this forced us to cope in a way that we otherwise may not have. Yes. You know, yeah. we can't just stop the spread of the gospel. Yes. We're not just going to say, well, COVID's out. So no one needs the word of God. No, we yes. need the word we of God. We needed it more than more now than we will ever need it before. And I believe yeah. that as time progresses, it only is going to get worse. So we're going to need the gospel. Absolutely. Any form, any way that is given, we're going to need it. Absolutely. So you mentioned coping. How yeah. did you cope during the pandemic? Like, did you Ooh. have like a thing that you did, a go-to, a comfort food? I know for me. You said comfort food. Yes, mm, listen. Let's for say me, it together. One, two, three. Wait. Mozzarella, mozzarella sticks. sticks. I knew it. I didn't even have to ask. It was it was the mozzarella sticks for me, and it was also nachos. Like oh, I didn't know you like nachos. Yes. Is it the Supremes? Yes, with all the with stuff no on tomato it. because That's the acid it. reflex be real. No tomato, y'all. Really? Just be burning. Really, but the sour cream though. Oh, I don't like sour you don't cream. Like sour cream? I, I, need, I like sour cream, cream cheese, eggs, milk. No, I know you need cheese is random. But <laughs> random. <laughs> It's random. Like, what is a cream cheese? Like, why is it cream and listen. cheese? Like, why are we cream and cheese? I don't. But, I never thought about it that way. You see, huh. like, why? I don't know. So let's 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 just talk about the sour cream thing, though. Sour cream is a blessing from on high. It's tart. And it's like, tart. Okay, it's like sour. It has like this weird yeah, tangy. It's true. I mean, who but wants it's good, to eat though. tangy? Like when I when I tell you that I need like a barrel of sour cream. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like you I can't. Need it I'm all not. Your mouth, I'm you? not eating. Yes. Ooh, like my food literally so turns white. Like I shift the whole look of the food. Like if I have chili, not white. You no know, chili starts off red. But no, when I put that sour it's cream pink. In there, it's pink. No, yeah. that is so gross. Yes. Yes. I cannot. This 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 really. This is gonna really change our friendship. I don't know if I can be friends with someone. We'll, we'll discuss this off camera. We gonna have to discuss we'll this off camera. This. But I see that's how you coped. Yes. Let me yes. talk about how I cope. Okay, we go with the mozzarella sticks. Yes. 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 But first and foremost, as many who know, some don't know. Hello to everyone who doesn't know me. But I am a writer. I write. Mm -hmm. I help authors. I publish books. I help people who have a voice to share their voice on various platforms. So for me, writing was like everything, even the more. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have so many yeah. notes and unpublished books yes. and things that God put in my heart. As I was one, being open and honest about my feelings. Mm -hmm. And I did a lot of two-way journaling and God mm -hmm. would respond. Ooh. I would write, God, this is what I'm struggling with. God, this is what... I, I, I'm questioning. I don't understand. I mean, literally, I was crying words on that page. Yeah. And then I would respond to my writings by yes. writing what I could hear in the spirit yes. from when he prayed, but when I, when I would pray. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, honestly, sometimes when I prayed, I was just so scared and nervous that I couldn't yeah. hear clearly. Yes. Because yes. my fear, my anxiety, my anger was mm -hmm. blocking, I, I believe, a lot of what God was trying to say to me. Mm -hmm. So I had to really get to the place where I had to quiet my spirit, not my spirit, but quiet my mind, mm -hmm. quiet my thoughts yes. and say, God, what are you saying? Yeah. The world is saying all of this stuff. Everybody's yes. the overnight prophet now. Oh, oh yes. I prophesied this. Oh, I prophesied this. It's not true. true. Yeah. But it's like, well, wait. Are we happy, though? <laughs> like, it seemed like a lot of people, well, not all, but some people moved in a lot of arrogance mm, like they were excited it. to see their prophetic word right manifest. but who's excited but it's to... like many lives or like many lives are being taken because of this disease so why yeah. are we gloating in the fact that you were right and then yeah. you have people who were um taking saying oh this was my prophetic word saying what other people are saying 
Like, as if God told Check them. the time stamp on that one. <laughs> no, but seriously, though, it's like we have to be careful of our heart and our intent. Yes, yes. So even if God did tell you that, it's a spirit by which you yes. share that. It's not what well, I said at first. Exactly. That's and that's what it important. became. It literally, it literally yeah. became a war. A war of the prophetic a words. A war. <laughs> a war. So I feel like this whole just pandemic has taught us so much not only about ourselves but about each other and about how we interact as a community and I know for me I've learned that my faith could actually be built Mm -hmm. get stronger can Mm -hmm. grow I'm sorry let me restate my faith is actually now built on a stronger foundation yes at first it was just um faith 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 Mm -hmm. in the Lord and I love Mm -hmm. God but what about when my money a little funny because you know we couldn't work and I worked with children so when pandemic hit the baby's home. The teacher's home. Wow. Where's the income coming from? You know, and um, I thank God that right before I transitioned, God put it in my heart to start really pursuing writing even the more. Wow. I taught English for a while wow. as a special educator. I tutored, but God was telling me to make my transition plan, not realizing that the very next month I will be walking wow. completely, 100% and fully in it. So, wow. of course, so the money. So, you're an entrepreneur full-time. Absolutely, full-time. Wow. full-time so, that's author. amazing. Mm-hmm. So, you, you, we can say that you prospered during a pandemic that's an interesting way to look at it yes despite all the havoc and the people that have you know been harmed and hurt and passed from this malicious yes. horrible yes. disease yes i actually being in christ you can still prosper yes i feel like more of myself i, I became and understood more of who i am yes. and i was able to flourish in who god has called me to be a lot of self um introspection during this time and i had to be honest with who i i don't want to say was but who i yes. am yes. in christ yes. Yeah, I, I I believe that this this the pandemic had like a duality, like multiple yeah. effects. Um, of course, we will never take away from the lives that were yeah. lost. Um, I was directly impacted by close family members. I know other people who's been impacted, even people my age, mm. my age, dying of this virus. But in the same token, I truly believe that some people gained as well. Yeah, it wasn't a total loss. I believe people gained as well. People gained businesses. Like when you're sitting yeah. isolated, it was definitely a time of isolation. Absolutely. And when you're sitting isolated, you can either do one of two things. Mm-hmm. You can either allow it to create or destroy. Because the idle mind, they say, is a devil's workshop. And people say, oh, that the Bible says the idle mind is a <laughs> devil's workshop, which is not Bible. But it's a true cliche. Like if you're sitting idly and you're not filled with the word of God... It is his workshop because all types of thoughts that are unholy and detrimental comes. But when you're filled with Christ, when you're spirit filled, you can get fresh downloads. You can get witty invention. I know a lot of people created some things. People, business were birthed. Like all types of things that were positive. Because we have media that only talks about the negativity of the pandemic. But I believe that it's, it served multiple purposes Absolutely. that people gain. I know for me, I write too. And I was able to write a lot of movies and a lot of plays. Hmm. Like I had a lot of downtime to really write and to work the gift that God had put in me. And we discovered new things in us that we didn't know we had. That's so true. So it, it definitely had multiple purposes. Yeah, I you know, it, it's such a blessing to be in the body of Christ. Yes. And I truly feel like that connects to what the word of God says in Psalm 91. Yes. When it dwelling. talks about. Yes. Dwelling. Yes. 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 So in Psalm 91, it says, surely, I'm sorry, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Wow. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler. And from the noisome pestilence, he shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Amen. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fleeth by day. My God. Wow. Powerful. You know, this was literally an anthem. Like it's scripture, but it was an anthem that a lot of churches grabbed a hold to. Yeah. Because this is literally a safety net. Psalms 91 is a safety net because every aspect of it talked about protection. And it all goes back to dwelling. Absolutely. And even imagine being in his wings. I believe Psalms 91 and 4 said he shall cover thee from his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. So we can trust Mm. the wings when a, in a pandemic, in famine, in inflation, Amen. in yes, not getting yes. 
yes, prices. Yes, yes, yes. Gas prices. Gas prices. I, I caught that one. I, let's, let's keep reading because I want to see okay. what else the word of God what said because I need these gas prices to go, to go down. down. <laughs> In verse 5, he says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fleeth by day, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Wow. Mm. We are fully protected. Yes. My God. A thousand shall fall at thy side. You know, people shout on that part. Yes. Mm. And ten thousand at thy right hand. But, but it shall not come nigh thee. Mm. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Mm -hmm. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Wow. Mm. Mm. That's powerful. It is. It truly that is. is powerful. It and truly even, is. Even the habitation part. We were we had to stay in our homes. You know, mm -hmm. we had to quarantine mm -hmm. and we were habitating. Mm -hmm. If we were really were in tune, we were habitating with him. We were receiving from him. We were even detoxing, like those things, a mm -hmm. uh, negative attitude, our depression, the things that weren't pleasing in his sight. Like if we're if we're habitating in him, those things should fall away. Absolutely. Wow. Because in the in him is just love and peace and yes. joy. Yes. And and I feel like whenever we pray, whenever we're connected to him, whenever we're in communion, the things and issues that we don't even know we have. Yes. Just surrender yes. to him yes. because yes. it cannot exist yes. where the spirit of the Lord yes. is present. So the word it says, There shall be there shall no evil befall thee. No evil. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. And then verse 11, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in wow. all, all thy ways. ways. Mm, wow. I got to say that one more time. To, to keep, keep thee in, in all, all thy ways. ways. I know that's that right. Is, mm, a mm, word. They, absolutely. A word. To be they kept. shall bear thee up in their hands, mm -hmm. lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under Wow. 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 And why? Because in verse 14, because mm -hmm. he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will. Will I deliver him? I will set him on high because he has known my name. Woo, Jesus, just to know his name. Woo. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. Ain't it amazing to call upon the Lord yeah. and he answers us? Yes. It's not like you just talking aimlessly into the sky. And somewhere. you don't get his voicemail. <laughs> Okay. Now that was a low, Careful. that was a low blow because okay. I do, I, I do send, send people to voicemail. Oh, you send people to voicemail? I, I do. Yeah. I, I tend, yeah. Okay. And okay. then I don't check messages. Let the Lord deal with you on that. You're going to have to deal with me on that. Let, let, me, let me just keep reading the word of God. Yeah, we can do that. He said, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. Don't say nothing. Okay. Quiet. <laughs> I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life Ooh. will I satisfy him Ooh. and show him my salvation. Salvation. Wow. Salvation. This is, it is. this is powerful. This is powerful. This is powerful. And so if we ever, ever felt like we were scared, ever felt like we were struggling, or if you ever feel like you are going through a tough time, it doesn't have to be pandemic. Yes. It could be any situation where yes. you truly feel like you are challenged and yes. you're just at wit's end. I admonish you. Turn to Psalm 91. Yes. Write it down. Read it every day. Put it in your wall. Post it on your Facebook. Yeah. Post it on your live. Talk about it on your live streams. Mm -hmm. Put the word of God all around your house. Yes. Read Psalm 91. Yes. I'm and telling even, you, it'll settle your us, spirit. Like my mom, she played Psalms 91 all throughout the house. Like oh while we were in quarantine, she played all types of music, all types of worship music mm -hmm. that spoke to protection, God's divine protection, especially Psalms 91. Absolutely. Powerful scripture. I think it's so powerful. And, you know, there's many things that you can do, you know, aside from reading scripture, you can talk to the Lord. Yes. You can even some people seek counseling if they need to, oh, yes. because that is definitely helpful. Sometimes yes. you need to get the mind right. But as long as we don't forget who it is that we should serve, who it is that yes. keeps us safe, yes. who it is that's protecting us under his almighty his wings. wings. Absolutely. Yes. So I, I'm just excited for yes. this opportunity to be able to chit chat with yes. you about yes. pandemic and to yes. chat with all of you. And um, we look forward to seeing you again when we chat again. And we just have so much in store. Yes. We just have so much in store, so much truth, so much that we want to share with you. Oh, yes. Thanks again for joining us. Thank and we'll you. talk to you again soon. Take care.